Hey guys, my name is Charlie with Competitive Edge Products. I'm going to show you what your options are if you have a three and a half inch round pole. Your pole cannot be any smaller, any wider. It cannot gooseneck and become horizontal. It must just be 3.5 inches round and completely vertical. The pole I'm talking about must be completely vertical. This here is considered a gooseneck because it goes vertical and then bends horizontally. This does not work. This is another example that doesn't work since it then bends horizontally. You must have just an upright pole for, for the brackets that we have available. Now your basketball system might have brackets on it that come off. So if your pole is completely vertical and you can take off the brackets and strip everything down so it's just completely vertical, then we have some options that work for you. My last point of emphasis is this pole. This is a four inch square pole. Now this bracket, this video, this is designed to show you the three and a half inch round. We do have brackets that work for a four inch square pole. You're gonna wanna check out that video. So what do you do if you have a gooseneck pole? You'll wanna start with GarrettSports.com. That's a great place to start. They've got institutional grade basketball systems that are designed for like elementary playgrounds, churches, schools like that, where they gooseneck out. Okay, so if you have a 3.5 inch round pole that I have probably overemphasized, then we've got some brackets that are gonna work just perfectly for you. The first thing you're gonna want to decide is which brand you wanna go with. There's Lifetime and there's Spalding. Those are the two big basketball manufacturers in the United States. I'm going to begin by showing you the Lifetime brackets. The Lifetime bracket here shown on the right is model number 1044. It's just the black brackets the arms, everything you can see in between this backboard and the pole there. The pole and the backboard are there shown only for illustration purposes. Model 1044 is adjustable from seven and a half to 10 feet using a broomstick. However, the important thing to keep in mind here, your pole must be at least eight and a half feet out of the ground in order to use these brackets and have the brackets raise your rim to the standard 10 foot height. You can see in the illustration on the left that there is no complicated assembly. It simply uses U-bolts. You're not drilling any holes inside your pole. And the illustration on the right shows somebody adjusting it up and down using a broomstick. You push up on the rim, it clicks into place every six inches. To lower it, you simply push on the bracket itself, which is located behind the backboard. The other lifetime option, still staying with the lifetime brand, the other lifetime option is model number 9594. You can get yourself into trouble with this bracket if you don't realize that your pole must be at least 10 and a half feet out of the ground in order for your rim to reach 10 feet using these brackets. Most poles are not 10 feet, 10 and a half feet out of the ground. They're closer to eight and a half feet. So please make sure it's 10 and a half feet out of the ground. Now, assuming that you've picked between either those adjustable brackets or the non-adjustable brackets, you need a backboard that's compatible. Not all backboards are compatible. Puffy, Spalding, any other brand will not work with these lifetime brackets and not every lifetime backboard will work with these lifetime brackets. Here are the most popular ones. Going from largest to smallest, this is the largest board. 54 inches is the largest size you can use on those brackets. The next size is this 52 inch, it's polycarbonate. Moving on down, the next size is 50 inches. You can see it's basically moving in two inch increments. There's another 50 inch backboard here. This is a good backboard. It's not the best though, because the backboard is a blow molded plastic as opposed to the ones I've shown you before this have a steel frame. This one's plastic. 48 inches is our best seller. This is our best selling backboard. The majority of people who get those 1044 or 9594 brackets end up pulling the trigger and purchasing this particular model. This is also a 48 inch board that has a plastic frame. The next size is 44 inches. This one also has a plastic frame as opposed to steel. And finally, here's the smallest board that's available. It's 44 inches. This one is not transparent. As you can see, it is completely plastic. The next brand I wanna show you is the Spalding brand. It's a little bit more complicated to explain. I'll try and simplify this best I can. This bracket is, out of the ones that we've talked about so far, the most stable, and it's our best selling in the Spalding brand. You can see that it's got this rod that's hanging down. That simply unhooks and you can store it in your garage if you're not using it. You simply crank it to the left to lower it, crank it to the right to adjust it anywhere in between seven and a half and 10 feet. It mounts to a three and a half inch round pole 
and your pole must be eight and a half feet out of the ground. These are the backboards that work with the 316 brackets. The first two in the upper left are the best sellers. 79564 is the largest that's available for these brackets. It's 54 inches. And then the second best seller is the one next to it, the 52 inch model 79307. So this bracket is the second Spalding adjustable bracket. It's not quite as stable as the 316, but it's also not quite as expensive. This adjusts in six inch increments and you use a broomstick to raise it up and down. Again, your pole must be three and a half inches round and at least eight and a half feet tall. The backboards that work with 8839S are shown here. Again, the best sellers are the two in the upper left, the 54 and the 52 inch. This is the last bracket I'm going to show you. This is Spalding's non-adjustable bracket. Again, you can get yourself into some trouble if you don't have a pole that's tall enough. Your pole must be at least 10 and a half feet out of the ground or taller and three and a half inches in diameter. One of the nice things about those non-adjustable spalding brackets is they virtually work with almost any spalding backboard that's out there on the market. Again, the best sellers are the two in the upper left, the 54 and the 52 inch. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, visit us at competitiveedgeproducts.com where you can call us toll free or chat with an expert.